Okay, so today we'll be doing the Sega emulator. So first we'll go over to Wii Mod Lite to install the channel. Start. This is the easiest uh, WAD installer I find. So you go over to WAD Manager, press A on the SD card, find your WADs folder, and then there it is. That's the WAD, that's for the channel. So you just press A, A again, installs it very quickly, press any key to continue, then you press home it should take you back to the Wii menu and you should have the gen plus channel and there it is right there gen plus GX channel start it up just hit the A it's one of the coolest uh, channels I find just press start Now this emulator does five systems in total. So to load a game, you just go load game. Pick whatever one you want, which system. So I'll start off with Mega Drive. So this is where I have all my folders for all the systems and the games. So this one is Mega Drive and Genesis. So pick that one and I chose NBA Jam. So just press A. There you go, starting right up. Perfect full screen resolution. Perfect sound. Oh my, he's on fire! There you go starts right up now to back out of this this one you press home takes you back to this page you go load new game let's do the Sega CD so Mega CD press a and then you got to choose the bin file it's gonna come in a queue and bin file you got to pick the bin file just press a this one is Sonic starts right up Beautiful sound. Press start. Sonic the Hedgehog. Start. So here you can go to the game. Just a little bit of gameplay here, just to show you how it works. Very, very fast moving game. Beautiful picture and sound on the Sega CD for the Wii. Okay, so same thing out of here. When you want to pick a new game, just hit home. Takes you back to this menu, you're gonna load. Now we'll load up a master system game. Press B to go back. So find your folder of master system. And Alex Kid the Miracle World, press A. And starts right up. And there you go. Now to full load another game from a different system. Press home, load, we'll go Game Gear, press back, find Game Gear folder, Chuck Rock World, press A, starts right up. A 
and there you go now I'll load another one same thing hit home load game the SG 1000 and Monaco GP press a and loads right up and there you go so all five systems Sega systems working perfectly now when you when you want to exit out of this emulator just go to exit up here exit the system menu and it should take you back to the Wii channel the main menu and now we'll get over on the PC and I will show you how to set it up on the SD card and get you playing Sega games okay now back over on the PC I'm gonna leave you five links down below for this emulator so I'm gonna leave the Wii Mod Lite I'm gonna leave the emulator itself Genesis Plus GX with all the proper files I'm gonna leave a, a link for the Sega CD BIOS which you need to play all the Sega CD games I'm going to leave you the uh, download folder for the WAD. And that's about it. So uh, now I will show you what the SD card should look like when you have everything set up. So here's what my SD card should look like. It will have the apps folder with Genesis Plus GX emulator. And then the Wii Mod Lite to install the WADs. That goes also there on the apps. And on the root of your SD card, you will have the WAD folder with the Gen Plus GX WAD right there. And now under the Gen Plus, you have the BIOS which is where you put all your biases in. Your cheats. There's your ROM saves. Snaps for your covers if you want to do that. So under your ROMs, you will make up uh, five different folders. So Sega Game Gear, Master System, Mega Drive, Sega CD, and SG-1000. And then you put all your games in each one. These can all be zipped. There you go, so one per. That's the Sega CD, comes with a Q and a bin. That's the format you have to have them in. SG-1000, there's one game, all zipped. So that's basically it for the Sega emulator. If you have any uh, comments or questions, put them down below. And on to the next video.